What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Aries um, 2021 predictions from January to June. Okay, um, super excited to be putting 2020 um, behind us. I'm sure you are as well. Uh, as always, I have prayed, shuffled, and meditated on the decks. I did get two messages for you guys. The first one was the Seven of Wands. So you could be defensive about something or someone around you, or you're standing your ground for something, okay? Um, you also got um, denial. So there might be something that you don't want to look at or somebody around you doesn't want to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a um, six-month spread. I'm going to pull one card for every month. And then I'm going to ask three questions, okay? Uh, the first question will be, how do you respond to the overall energy of that month? What's hidden from you for the overall energy of that month? And what's the truth of the situation, okay? And then um, we'll get an outcome and some other uh, cards, all right? So let's get right into it. Uh, Spirit, can you show me what you have for my Aries gang? One card for January, please. Thank you. And one card for February, please, Spirit. One card for February for my Aries gang. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages. One card. Thank you. And one card for March. One card for May. I mean, April. One card for April, Spirit. One card for April. Thank you. One card for May. Thank you. And one card for, um, okay, thank you, Spirit, for June. Okay. There we go. Okay. So for January, you got the Eight of Baskets. Spirit, can you show me how my Aries gang will react to this Eight of Baskets? One card, Spirit. Thank you. And um, can I get one card for what's hidden from Aries in the month of January, Spirit? One card. One card for, okay, thank you. And one card for the truth for Aries in January, Spirit. One card. Thank you. Okay, so um, can I get one card for how um, Aries responds to February. Can I get one card for uh, what's hidden in February from Aries, please? One card, Spirit, thank you. And one card for the truth of the matter in February for my Aries gang. One card, Spirit, thank you. Uh, one card for the overall situation and how um, Aries responds to the energy of March, please. One card. One card, Spirit. Too many. I'll take that one. Um, one card for what is hidden from Aries in March. One card, Spirit. Um, one card for, uh, what is the truth in March? Thank you. Uh, one card for the overall energy, uh, how Aries responds to April spirit. One card for the, um, way Aries responds to April. Thank you. Um, one card for the way that air, uh, what is hidden, being hidden from Aries in April spirit, one card. Thank you. And, um, one card for the truth in April for Aries. What's the truth in April for Aries? One card spirit. Thank you. One card for how Aries responds to May, Spirit. One card for the way that Aries responds to May. One card for the way, uh, for what is hidden from Aries in May. 
One card for the truth of the matter in May for Aries spirit. One card for the truth of the matter. One card for the truth of the matter in May spirit. Thank you. And uh, one card for how Aries responds to June. Thank you. Uh, one card for what is being hidden from Aries for June. One card for what is being hidden. Thank you. One card uh, for the truth of the matter. Thank you. Okay. So. For June, I mean, um, for January, let me just uh, make this a little neater so that we can see what's happening here. Okay, so for January, you got the Eight of Baskets. Okay, so this is someone walking away from a situation in search of the two cups that are missing. Now, this could be you walking away from your partner. Your partner could have walked away from you. Or this could be talking about a return after walking away. Okay, so, um, and then you have the four coins here in reverse to how you respond to it. You have the five of coins as to what's hidden from you. And you have the devil in reverse as to the truth of the matter. So we're going to start to clarify this right now. Spirit, why is this eight of baskets here for my Aries gang for the situation? Okay, so it looks like somebody... Um, is either walking away, like I said, for this two in search of the other two cups, and look what came out the two cups, right? Two of cups, or somebody is returning because of that soulmate energy. Somebody's gone through a death and transformation, and down here is the lovers as well. Somebody made a choice, so that means that there was someone or something else that was on, um, that was there to be chosen from, right? Now you got the four coins in reverse as to how you respond. Spirit, why is this four coins here in reverse for my Aries gang for January, Spirit? Okay. Um, so the four coins in the upright is holding back or holding on. Okay. And then you have the higher font here, card of Taurus. So this Hierophant is um, a spiritual leader. This is also someone who is in a major organization. This is talking about faith and hope. And um, this is also the husband card. So I feel like somebody is walking away from you or um, they're trying to return. But either way, that four of... Um, that four of pentacles in reverse is talking about you um, not holding on, but holding on to the faith of the situation, okay? Sorry about that. I had to take a important phone call. Um, but like I said, you've got this four of pentacles in reverse with this hierophant. So I feel like somebody walked away and I feel like you are not holding on to them, but you're holding on to faith that everything is going to work out fine, right? So now you got this five of coins as to what's being hidden from you. Spirit, why is this five of coins here for what's being hidden from Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why is this being hidden from Aries? Okay, so the five of coins, somebody feeling left out in the cold. This also could be financial lack. Maybe somebody walking away caused you uh, to come up short on your finances, right? Or a lot of people have lost their jobs because of COVID. Um, but the Eight of Wands is here. So this could be this person, um, you know, sending you messages. Um, I feel like this could be you sending this person passionate messages because here it says you are the one who's holding out the faith for this relationship right and then you also have here uh 
the six of wands okay so you're sending messages um trying to get the victory or this person is sending them to you then you have the devil here in reverse that's the card of capricorn spirit why is this devil here in reverse for aries in january okay so um the devil is uh some type of toxicity addiction fear uh obsession okay but it's coming up in the reverse okay so um i feel like this could be your person you could be dealing with a capricorn um but it feels like they're trying to let go of some toxicity or work some toxicity out or they're struggling with that right then you've got the uh king of pentacles here taurus virgo and capricorn you could be dealing with a taurus virgo and capricorn but this is a um a very stable king Okay, uh, very good with money and is considered the quintessential uh, husband. But there was something that they were hiding with that devil card in reverse. Okay, trying to keep their toxicity under wraps. Okay, but I feel like they're trying to turn that around. And then you got the nine of cups here would be their wish fulfillment. Or this is your wish fulfillment that they turn this toxicity around. Okay, let's take a look at um, if there's anything else that Spirit wants us to know about this situation. Spirit, is there anything else we need to know about January? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages, Spirit. Okay, so um, uninterested. I feel like uh, this person, um, you might be sending them messages um, and they're not really responding. You see how she's kind of ignoring him. Or it's the reverse. They're sending you the messages and um, you are ignoring them. Whoever is um, sending the messages feels haunted. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. So um, it feels like uh, the person who is sending the passionate messages trying to get the victory is the person who is having difficulties with this. So if you walked away from them and they're trying to uh, message you to come back, then they're struggling. If they walked away from you and you're sending them messages to come back, you're struggling. Okay? Now, uh, let's look at this, um, what they're feeling but not saying. That, didn't, that just dropped. Okay, Spirit, what are they feeling? but not saying to Aries in the month of January. Thank you. So I know I can't give you what you need came up in reverse. So this person is working out of their own fulfillment. Okay. And I energetically communicate with you is also in reverse. So I feel like this is the person that walked away from you. Um, and they're purposely trying to disconnect from this energy. I think it's because they feel like it would be easier, right? Uh, Spirit, what does uh, Aries need to be working on in the month of uh, January? Thank you, Spirit. So you got surrender in reverse. It says, I can release my need to control. Um, I feel like in reverse, a spirit, you know, because it seems like you're sending this person messages because you're left out in the cold, but this is actually pushing this person to move away faster, right? The chaser and the runner, right? So if they feel that you're chasing them, then they continue, right? To, to pull away. And spirit is advising you to turn that energy around. Okay, now uh, let's go to the love and romance spirit. Can you show me one card for the most likely outcome for January spirit? One card. Thank you. It's safe for you to love is in reverse. So spirit is saying guard your heart right now. And at the bottom of the deck, you have past life relationships. So this could be why you're so drawn to this person. Okay, let's clarify this. Um, it's safe for you to love in reverse spirit. Why is this? Uh, okay. Six of Pentacles in reverse because this person is not ready to bring in fairness into this um, into this relationship. Not in January anyway. Okay, so let's move on to February. February, uh, you've got the uh, Son of Coins in reverse. 
This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? Um, and this is talking about, in the upright, this is a tangible offer. So in the reverse, I feel like you're waiting for a tangible offer. But you have the Knight of Coins here as to how you respond, okay? You have the Seven of Swords as to what's being hidden from you. And you have the Hierophant again as to the truth of the matter. Okay, so let's start to clarify. Um, Spirit, why is the Sun of Coins in reverse the overall energy for February, Spirit? Okay, so um, you're not getting an offer from this person because of this moon card. It's Cancer or Pisces. doesn't have to be, but that's the energy of, right? And that's talking about a secret, hidden emotion, or the subconscious. So there's something... Uh, there's a secret that you're not aware of, okay? And you respond to this as the Knight of Coins spirit. Why is this Knight of Coins here as to how Aries responds? Okay, so it seems like you had been waiting for this offer for a long time with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. It's the slowest moving of the Knights, so it felt halted to you. Right? And then here's the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Uh, this could be the person you're dealing with, but I feel like this is you. You're trying to make a very loving offer to someone who, up until this point, you were waiting on an offer from them, but it's taking too long. But the reason why it's taking too long is because there's something that you don't know about the situation. Now you got the Four of Swords here. Okay? You um, are trying to rest and heal while this is happening. Going within, that's the minor arcana of the, of the hermit. Right? Trying to get a new perspective. Okay? And now the seven of swords is here as to what is hidden from you. Spirit, why is the seven of swords here as to what's hidden from my Aries gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why is the seven of swords here? Okay, so the Seven of Swords is a deception, okay, manipulation, cheating, even stealing, right? And then you have uh, the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So male or female, there could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that is being deceptive to you, okay? And this person is the person that left you out in the cold. Now, this Queen of Cups, they're very loving and intuitive, but I feel like um, you need to be careful with this person. Now, this Queen of Cups could be you offering this person uh, love, not recognizing that they are the ones who are deceiving you and leaving you out in the cold. Now, this Hierophant card is here as to the truth of the matter, spirit. Why is this Hierophant the truth of the matter? Okay, so the Hierophant is Taurus. Okay, this is faith and hope. Um, this is a spiritual person, a leader, uh, someone in a major organization. Um, so I feel like you're trying to tap into your intuition. This is also the husband card, okay? So you may still be operating on faith um, come February, but you're starting to look at the situation differently with this Seven of Pentacles. You're starting to assess what's really happening here. The star, the card of Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like uh, you feel divinely tethered to this person, which is why you're trying to hold on. Okay, Eight of Swords, feeling stuck in your head, okay? Um, let's see what else Spirit wants to tell us about this situation. Spirit, is there anything else we need to know about February, Spirit? Anything else? Thank you. Okay, so you got the lonely card, which I did tell you uh, I felt like you were trying to contact this person. And then uh, the running card. So back to what I said about the runner and the chaser, right? So what it is, is that they're running from you because they know that you're holding on. Uh, Spirit, can you show me, excuse me, can you show me what, um, what Aries partner is feeling but not saying in the month of February? 
if it's meant to be, it will be. So they're not um, putting their focus right now on this, okay? And I love you. So they know that they have feelings from you, but right now um, they're they're not giving to that situation. And it says at the, the bottom of the deck, I never uh, meant to hurt you, okay? And I should have been more honest with you. So they, they know that uh, that secret is um, whatever it is that they're keeping from you. I feel like they know that if you knew what it was, you would not be waiting for them. And that's why they haven't told you, right? Because even though they're not giving to this situation, they don't want to blow up their spot just in case they want to come back, right? Spirit, what does Aries need to be working on in the month of uh, February? Adversity, all right? So there's a lot of challenges going on around you. I, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, all right? I, I feel like Spirit is saying you're strong enough uh, to uh, push through this. And then you got perseverance here at the bottom of the deck, right? So stay the course, right? And then you have here, let's go into the love and romance. Spirit, can I get one card that will show us the most likely outcome for this situation for the month of February for my Aries game? Okay. Attraction. All right? So I feel like... um. I feel like something turned this person's head and has made them um, put the focus somewhere else. You had the Eight of Cups with the Two of Cups, so I feel like maybe uh, some offer came into them. They haven't really told you that, but they are off exploring that, okay? Trying to figure out what is uh, what they really want. Spirit, why is this attraction here as the most likely outcome for uh, February for my Aries gang? So you got the hangman in reverse, okay? So this is telling me that this person didn't put a lot of forethought into this situation, okay? Uh, they just followed uh, their heart um, and they are not uh, reflecting on it. Now, this also can be speaking about you. Uh, you could be um, so caught up on the fact that this person walked away, and you've gone into autopilot trying to fix the situation that you haven't really had the time to consider whether this is best for you, okay? So let's move to uh, March. You got the four of knives as the overall energy for the month of March. You have the moon here as to how you respond to it. You have the seven of coins here as to what's hidden from you. And you have the queen of swords in reverse as to the truth of the matter. Okay, so let's start to clarify um, March. Spirit, why is this four swords here for my Aries gang in the month of March? Thank you. So the four swords, um, is talking about rest and healing. I feel like by March, you start realizing that you need to go within and take care of yourself because of this 10 of wands there's a lot of bad uh burdens okay burdens of passion right that's what the 10 of wands are and then you have the judgment card here okay card of scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio um but uh judgment talks about final judgment legal judgment or um asking the universe for karmic justice or reconciliation I feel like it's possible that this person is telling you that they're making a final judgment. Or this is you saying, I've had enough of waiting for you to come back. I was trying to hold on to faith and hope, but I'm going to let go. And then um, you come up as your response to this as the moon spirit. Why is this moon here for my Aries gang? Okay, so the moon is uh, a secret, hidden emotion, or the subconscious, right? I feel like you're trying to not let them see how much this is uh, costing you, okay? And then the Ten of Pentacles, this is uh, the community, family, generational wealth, and legacy. So, but tens are also endings, okay? So, um, two things could be happening here. You could have been waiting on some money to come in, right? And uh, this person is like bailing on you and you are not telling them like, oh, I'm about to receive this money because you want them to stay for the right reasons, right? 
or um, they're telling you, you know, it's time for us to, to go our separate ways. Uh, I need to rest and heal. You need to rest and heal. This was a burdensome situation. We need to make this final decision. And then um, you don't want to tell them how you feel about this Ten of Pentacles ending. Okay. King of Wands, this is you, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Uh, you know what you want. You know um, how to go after it and you know how to get it. So I feel like this person is saying, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be in this situation anymore. And you are still holding on to hope and you're keeping that a secret from them. Okay. So now you got the seven of coins here as to what's being hidden from you. Spirit, why is the seven of coins here? Okay. So the seven of coins, this is um, looking at the seeds that were planted and deciding whether or not you feel that they were fruitful. This is your person doing this. They're looking at the situation. Okay. And they're taking stock. Now you could have been with this person for a long time because sometimes the seven of coins is, uh, you know, when the relationship has gone stagnant. Okay. There's some form of, um, like stale energy, almost like boredom. Right. And then you have the nine of pentacles here. Right. So it went from the seven to the nine, meaning that that uh, they they were looking at the situation and feeling like, yeah, this, you know, I've been here for a minute, but it's time now to move on because the nine of pentacles is singular energy. All right. This is the minor arcana, the empress. This is looking good, smelling good, feeling good. This is usually, a, you know, a business owner. I feel like this person is saying I'm single. Right. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Uh, this person, though, uh, they're drinking from a cup of love, and I feel like this cup is not yours. Okay? Now, the truth of the situation is uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse spirit. Why is this the truth of the situation? Okay, so the Queen of Swords in the upright is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and she cuts away things that no longer serve her. She will hear you out, but if it doesn't align with her truth, she'll cut you. In the reverse, she's got a extra sharp tongue. Uh, she's uh, really, um, she don't want to hear shit, <laughs> okay? She's just like, look, I had enough. I feel like you've been kicking down, um, and I'm done with that. Four of Pentacles, okay? Now, also, this could be saying the Queen of Swords, uh, who normally cuts things away, is holding on to something that no longer serves her. And then you got the Four of Pentacles here talking about holding on or holding back. So you could still be trying to hold on, okay? You could be, um, in March, a little sharp-tongued, okay? And then the Lovers is here. Okay, so this is the card of Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but this is saying now that a choice is being made. And this could be why you're coming up as the Queen of Swords in reverse. Maybe you are not fond of um, this person's decision. Okay. Um, and we're going to uh, look at if there's anything else. Spirit, is there anything else that Aries needs to know about this situation for um, the month of March? Okay. So uh, you got the rejected card, okay? So I feel like that's how you're feeling right now, okay? Um, you also got the uh, bad karma card. So I feel like whatever decision this person is making, like I said, you had the hangman here in reverse at the end of February. They didn't put a lot of thought into this, and it's probably not going to work out for them as well as they think. I feel like you know this inherently too, which is why you've been kind of trying to like hold on to them. Like this isn't the, this isn't the right thing you're doing. I feel like you've been telling them that. Spirit, can you show me what Aries person is feeling but not saying? Thank you, Spirit. Be expecting my call. So they are going to contact you. And I think of you constantly. 
Now, this also could be saying that um, this other person that they were dealing with maybe had somebody too. And then they made a choice. Now they're trying to double back to you with this be expecting my call. Bad karma, bad decisions, right? Now they're thinking of you constantly. Right? Let's look at this uh, soul's journey. Spirit, can you show me what my Aries gang should be working on in the month of March, Spirit? Month of March? What should Aries be working on in the month of March? Um, denial in reverse. And you had this in the pre-shuffle. All right? So there's something that you don't want to look at. Okay? And I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with uh, the insight of awareness. So I feel like... um. There might, I feel like by March, you know what's good. You know that there's somebody else, okay? Um, and you don't care. You're still trying to pursue this person, okay? Uh, and you got regrets at the bottom of the deck. It could be because you feel like if you don't give it your all, um, that what will happen is that you might regret it. Okay, so I feel like that's your energy. All right, Spirit, can you give me one card? For the most likely outcome for um, March for my Aries gang. One card. Calling in your soulmate. So you are calling them back into you. Spirit. What's um why this for the most likely outcome? So you got the six of wands here in reverse. So I feel like this is saying either that attempt is unsuccessful. Or um, this is uh, you trying to get their attention, but it's not working out um, the way you want it to. Okay, so let's look at the month of April. Okay, so you got the two of knives. Again, talking about something that you can't see or don't want to see. Then you got the ten of coins as to how you react to that. Right? You had the Ten of Coins in the last uh, month as well. You got the Four of Swords here as to what's hidden from you. You also had the Four of Swords there. And then you got the Two of Coins as the truth of the matter. So let's look at this Two of Swords. Spirit, why is this Two of Swords here for the month of April for my Aries gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So um, the Two of Swords is talking about uh, being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision, but not knowing which way to go because you have a veil over your eyes. And then, and then this card, you see she gouged her own eyes out, right? And then here's the Ten of Swords because there was a betrayal, right? And you don't really want to look at it or relive it, right? Ten of Coins. The community, family, uh, legacy, and generational wealth. That's what you wanted from this person, but instead you got betrayed. And I feel like there's an energy that you don't want people to know that you're going through this. Spirit, why is this Ten of Coins here as to how Aries responds to um, the energy? Yeah, the Justice card. Because you feel like it's uh, completely unjust, the, uh, the situation that this person put you in. Okay, um, and I feel like you could be dealing with a Libra, but, um, you know, you could be asking for karmic justice here because it seems like by April, you're, you're like really starting to get stressed out. And then the four of, of uh, swords, spirit, why is this what's being hidden from my Aries gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Okay, so um, the Four of Swords is rest and healing. Okay, I feel like this person, uh, I just said to you in the last month, they might be going through a situation with the person that they went to, and they don't want you to know about it. Resting and healing, okay? Two of Swords, okay? Um, there's still some type of decision. Now they're trying to look at it like, did I make the right choice by leaving Aries to go with so-and-so? Because now look at the situation I'm in. And then the Eight of Cups is here in reverse. So either one or two things is happening. Now they're wishing to return or um, they're holding on to that person even though the writing's on the wall. That's what you call karma. Right? And, and you know, in the last month, 
it, it came out with bad karma, meaning like the wheel has turned and now they're experiencing what they were putting you through. Spirit, why is this two coins the truth of the matter for Aries in the month of April? Okay, so the two of coins is here. Okay, juggling two people, two situations, two ideas. This is your partner. It feels like now the truth is coming out. Yeah, I was juggling. Yeah, that was the reason why I did it, right? And then here's the tower, scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this is the universe tearing down something because it was built on a faulty foundation. This is unexpected surprise or unwanted surprise. Okay, so this person could be outed for the two of pentacles or, um, you know, this other situation fell apart and now they're coming back and telling you the truth. Now here's the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I feel like this is them telling you, I'm not going to be a player anymore. Okay, let's uh, look at what's... Uh, what else spirit might want to tell us about April? Spirit, is there anything else that Aries needs to know about April? Anything else? Okay, so dust it off in reverse. Okay, so I feel like um, you're saying to them, so what do you want me to do about that? Because you put me through all this shit, right? And I had to dust myself off. And now what? You want me to come and be, you know, the cleanup crew after somebody else done broke your heart after you broke mine? Right? And then talking shit. Right? I feel like this person doesn't like the response that they get. And you might be talking shit like, you know what? But that's what you get. <laughs> All right? So um, let's look at what they might be saying. Um, spirit. What is Aries' partner feeling but not saying in the month of uh, April? Thank you. Um, what I said still haunts me. So they think about how they treated you. I feel like this person treating them like that makes them understand. If I called you, would you answer? Because they know they wasn't shit by the way they were doing it, right? And I watch you on social media in reverse. Okay, so this tells me right here that this person, it's not like they were watching you and they were like, oh, you know, I miss Aries. No, they're watching. They weren't watching at all. But now that they need something from you, right, whether it's a pick me up or whatever, now they come. But when you were sending them messages and doing all of that, they had no response for you. It's a self-motivated spirit. What does Aries need to be working on in the month of April? Thank you. Empathy. Because <laughs> like I just said, you like talking shit. Like, man, that don't got nothing to do with me. Who told you, right? But Spirit is saying, um, you know, tone it down a little bit, all right? You might know it's the truth, but maybe you don't need to say it to them, right? Um, a Spirit, can you give me one card that will show me the most likely outcome for Aries in the month of April? I can't reach it. Okay. All right. So you got passion in reverse. Okay. So um, I feel like they were uh, hoping that you would um, lick their wounds for them. But instead, you gave them the business. All right. Rightfully so. I mean, you know, you went through three months of bullshit. Right. Spirit, why is this passion card in reverse? for the most likely outcome for my Aries gang. Okay. Yeah, because you wanted the Ten of Cups, happy life, happy wife, happy family card from this person, all right? But that came to an end, or I feel like they didn't even really ever give it to you. The star, all right? Now they're telling you that they feel divinely tethered. And then you have the six of swords here. They're saying, you know, I would like to move to calmer waters, but I feel like you're not really sure if you're going to do that with them or on your own. You got the four of wands here. They might be saying to you, can I come home or um, 
let's rebuild this. But I feel like the uh, uh, Four of Wands also speaks about personal happiness. And so you're looking at whether this can really bring you personal happiness or not in the end of April. Now let's look at um, May. You have the Mother of Baskets, which is... Uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse. You have the Hangman here in reverse as to how you respond to it. You have the Hermit card as to what is hidden from you. You have the Six of Cups as to the truth, okay? So let's see why this uh, Mother of Baskets is in reverse. Spirit, why is the Mother of Baskets here in reverse for my Aries gang? There goes the Seven of Wands that came out in the pre-shuffle. So the Mother of Baskets in reverse, uh, she... Um, in the upright, she's intuitive and she's very loving, okay? Very nurturing. In the reverse, she's going through a lot, okay? She feels uh, emotionally um, beat down. She could be going through anxiety, depression. She can even be having like, uh, you know, some emotional uh, imbalance because of the stress that she's under. Okay, Spirit, why is this Mother of Baskets here in reverse? Oh, I did that. Okay, Seven of Wands. Um, defensive. You're feeling defensive about this situation. I feel like this Queen of, uh, or the Mother of Baskets could be you, could be your partner, especially if they're Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. There's no gender in tarot. Um, they could be really taking what happened hard, right? The other person backed out for another situation. You sent them basically to hell, right? And they're feeling defensive and adrift. Now, the hangman is here in reverse as to how you respond, spirit. Why is this hangman here in reverse for how Aries responds? So the hangman in the upright is talking about... Um, Getting a new perspective, um, feeling stuck, not knowing which way to go. In the reverse, though, I feel like now it's your turn to be the hangman in reverse, where you're not giving a lot of thought to it. You want what you want. You're waiting for your ships to come in, so uh, you are ready for this person to come back. Um, you're not doing a lot of reflecting on what that means. Okay, but you just feel like you want this person to come home. Now, what's hidden from you is the hermit. Spirit, why is this hermit card here for what's hidden away from Aries? Let me get one more, Spirit. Uh, six of Pentacles. Okay, so the hermit is Virgo. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is someone who's going within. This is someone who uh, is trying to... Uh, Tap into the divine, uh, feeling alone. Okay, and then you have here the Ace of Wands. Um, they're, they see themselves as single right now. I already told you that with the Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit is the same, right? Now you have the Ace of Wands here. They're telling you they got a lot of passion, right? And then you got the Six of Pentacles here, right? And that they want to give to you fairly, but what's hidden from you is that this person feels single. Okay, now you have the Six of Cups as to the truth of the matter. Spirit, spirit, why is this Six of Cups here? So uh, the Six of Cups is um, nostalgia, fond memories, and reconciliation. So um, the truth of the matter is if you take this person back, the Three of Swords, this person will break your heart again. Wheel of Fortune, this situation has been cyclical. Two of Wands, um, you know, a choice needed to be made. But this person with the Four of Cups is uninterested in making a choice because they're the hermit, okay? Um, they want to be single. And the Seven of Cups, there's too many options and they like it like that. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords, okay? So let's look at um, if there's anything else Spirit wants to tell us about May. Spirit, is there anything else that Aries needs to know about May? Um, so you got here uh, the ignoring, 
Okay, so either you're ignoring ignoring the warning signs, okay, or they're ignoring warning signs here. And then a uh, drama starter. Okay, this could be you, this could be them, this could be that other third party. And I feel like that's what it is. This other person is not fully gone. Okay, and I feel like they're not really wholly interested in your person, but they don't want to feel like they lose to you. Okay, so you've got that whole bullshit going on, right? Let's look at what your person is uh, feeling but not saying. Spirit, can you show me what Aries person is feeling but not saying? Your rejection would destroy me, okay? Because I feel like they run back to you when things aren't going well. And my pride and ego got the best of me. So, um, you know, like I said, they're going to tell you that they want to bring in fairness, okay? But they're in a cyclical situation either with this person, with you, or with both, right? You might know that this person's been around for a minute. And that's the problem. It keeps causing the same drama over and over again spirit can i get one card for the most likely outcome for may spirit so you got heart to heart conversations so some uh you guys need to have uh some discussion and then codependency yeah because this person uh, addictions are f affecting your romantic life i feel like the um the codependency is that whenever they get a boo-boo they want to come to you, but they're not offering you stability. But let's clarify it anyway. Spirit, heart-to-heart uh, heart conversations and codependency. Why is this the most likely outcome for my Aries gang? Thank you. Ten of Pentacles, right? This person may not be financially stable. You had the Ten of Pentacles twice already. This is the third time, which tells me this person relies on you. Okay, and here you are resting and healing. They're still asking you for shit. Queen of Swords, it looks like you might actually shut them down this time, all right? So, um, let's look at June. You've got the Nine of Knives in reverse. Love that, okay? Because that's talking about anxiety and sleepless nights, and it looks like you're coming out of that energy. You have here the Empress. Love that, too. That's how you respond to it. Um, what's hidden from you is the Eight of Cups in reverse, right? And then um, the uh, the truth of the matter is the King of Staffs, okay? So let's, let's clarify that and see what's going on here. Nine of Nine Spirit in reverse. Why is that here for my Aries game? Yeah, because the truth is finally out and you are, you know, putting, uh, coming out of that sleepless nights, anxiety, depression mode, okay? That's your truth. You're finally stepping into it. And then uh, how you respond to it is the Empress. Hello, loving that. Okay, so this is Taurus and Libra, but I feel like you're stepping into your Empress energy, okay? Um, she is the mother of the world, the mother of creativity, the embodiment of all four queens, and she can manifest whatever the hell she wants, right? And what are you manifesting? The full, a new beginning, and that is your card, Aries. You are stepping into your power, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, going after what you want. I love it. Okay, now you got the Eight of Cups here in reverse as to how, what's being hidden from you. So now this person wants to return with this Eight of Cups in reverse. Two of Pentacles though, still fucking juggling. Still juggling. Still needing to make a decision with the Two of Swords. Here goes that Wheel of Fortune talking about cycles repeating themselves. And the Emperor is here in reverse, all right? This person is not even... Um, on your level now the king of staffs spirit why is this the truth for the matter yeah this is you okay aries leo and sagittarius all right you're going after what you want how um you know you know how to go after it and you know how to get it you want the real ten of cups okay so you're moving on with the six of swords here to move to common waters all right um, let's see, uh, what else Spirit wants to tell us about, uh, June. Spirit, is there anything else we, um, Aries needs to know about June? 
Okay, so um, you've got here crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. in reverse, all right? This person is just full of shit. And then wasting time, stuck, no changes limited. So if you give them the opportunity, they'll waste your time, okay? But it looks like you're not about to do that anymore, all right? Let's look at what they would uh, want to say. Spirit, can you show me what Aries person is feeling but not saying in the month of June? Thank you. I know you deserve more. And Jeepers Creepers, they never thought that you were going to um, take control. Spirit, what does Aries need to be working on in the month of June? courage so spirit is saying you're doing the right thing jump off um into a new direction and patience so what you want will be coming to you you just need uh to wait on divine timing spirit what's the most likely outcome for june for my aries gang keep an open mind in reverse you're like i'm shutting the door on this person and you're staying optimistic about your love life going forward which i like that too Spirit, why uh, this keep your open mind in the reverse? Yeah, because you're going after happier times with the sun card, all right? So that's great. That's great, all right? So that's what I have for you guys. I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.